Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this series of video, we are going to cover the blistering or pullous diseases of the skin. This video particularly will cover the dermatitis herpetiformis. These are the references for this video. The dermatitis herpetiformis is a disease that occurs in genetically predisposed individuals who are having HLA-D8, HLA-DR3 and HLA-DQW2 haplotypes and there is a, a antibodies development against dietary gluten and these uh, dietary glutens that are derived from wheat protein gliadin, wheat, barley, rye and oat they have got uh, developed antibodies against these and these IgA antibodies they cross react with the reticulin that is the anchoring fibrin and this anchoring fibril uh, joins the epidermal basement membrane with the superficial dermis. So when this anchoring fibril is disturbed, there is development of subepidermal blister and uh, this uh, condition is associated with increased level of IgA antibodies to transglutaminase and also increased levels of antibodies to the smooth muscle endomycium. This condition it does not fix complement, rather there is a recruitment of few uh, neutrophils that secrete leukotrienes and as a result of this there is a recruitment of more neutrophils and as a result of secretion of lysosomal enzymes there is degradation of laminin and collagen 4. So dermatitis herpetiformis develops when there is partially digested gluten in the lumen of the small intestine of uh, B8, DR3 and DQW2 haplotype patient. This partly uh, digested gluten it travels through the defective mucosal epithelial barrier and binds to the IgA in the submucosa. Hence, immune complexes are formed that are taken to the circulation and these immune complexes that uh, these immune complexes bind with the ligand and these ligand are present just below the lamina densa of the basement membrane zone and here this interaction lead to the release of neutrophil chemotactic factor and uh, these neutrophils then migrate to the tip of the dermal papillae. Recruitment of the neutrophil then releases various lysosomal enzymes within this uh, dermal papillae and uh, due to these enzymes there is dissolution of the basal rootlets and anchoring fibrils and the start of the dermoepidermal separation occurs. Then this, uh, these uh, neutrophils are present at the dermoepidermal junction but they release various lysosomal enzymes and proteases. These proteases then spread along the dermoepidermal junction and uh, the spread of these enzymes will result in separation of the dermis of the dermis and the epidermis and lifting away of the lamina densa. The lesions of the dermatitis herpetiformis are bilateral, symmetric and grouped and these are erythematous blisters. The site of these lesions is extensor surfaces, elbow, knees, upper back and buttocks they present with crusted lesions and uh, no intact vesicles usually because they are intensely pruritic. Then now dermatitis herpetiformis, how the morphology of this lesion evolves. First, there is perivenular infiltrate of the lymphocyte and soon after there is lymphocyte, uh, there is neutrophilic infiltrate that is deep to the lamina densa in the terminal papillae. These uh, neutrophils increase in number and within 12 hours they have got a cluster of 10 to 25 of neutrophil and these neutrophils are present at the tip of the dermal papillae 
and here they can produce two type of the morphologies uh, by the action of their lysosomal enzyme or proteases. One is the sheet like spread of the neutrophil and uh, these neutrophils are of one to two layers in thickness and they result in whole uh, separation of the dermoepidermal layers. This is complete separation. So the roof of the this uh, bully are composed of epidermis, while the base is of lamina densa and papillary dermis. While another morphology is the involvement of dermal papillary tip only. In that case, there is tear of the epidermis across the adjacent retiridges. Here the release of these uh, enzymes by, that are secreted by these uh, neutrophil. What happens? That there is disruption of the basement membrane zone in the lamina lucida and superficial part of the papillae. And there is tear of the epidermis across the adjacent radial ridges. And this tear will result in the formation of the bulla that the roof of which is composed of alternating tear across the epidermal covering and base is composed of residual epidermal pegs alternating with the basal half of the dermal papillae. These events lead to formation of microabscesses and uh, these microabscesses are formed by the accumulation of fibrin and neutrophil that are selectively accumulated at the tip of the dermal papillae. Then basal layer is vacu shows vacuolization and there is focal dermoepidermal separation. And when these areas of uh, dermoepidermal separation coalesce, they form subepidermal blister. Direct immunofluorescence of these area show discontinuous granular deposits of IgA that are localized at the tip of the dermal papillae. The treatment of dermatitis herpetiformis is gluten-free diet, Depsone and sulfapyridine. So this uh, dermatitis herpetiformis is characterized by areas of atricaria with grouped vesicle formation on the extensor surfaces, elbow, knee, upper back and buttock. There is presence of papillary microabscess and subepidermal blister. So this photomicrograph is showing dermatitis herpetiformis. That is showing the presence of these uh, microabscesses at the dermal papillae. And underlying this, there is vesicle at the dermal epidermal junction. Uh, in dermatitis herpetiformis, these IgG or IgA antibodies are directed against the reticulin that is an important part of the anchoring fibril and it connects the epidermis or epidermal basement membrane to the dermis.